Hi guys, and welcome to The Way. I'm Donatello, and this is a prophetic word. I pulled this from Ruth, specifically Ruth 3, and it's only the top paragraph. We're going from 1 to 3. Didn't mean that to go like that, but we are going 1 to 3. And God kept bringing me to Ruth, specifically Ruth 3. And right at the beginning at Ruth, Ruth and Boaz and threshing floor. One day, Ruth's mother-in-law said to Ruth, My daughter, I must find a home for you where you will be well provided. And God is saying, your time is coming. He's moving you into the new, into the new home, the new relationship, the new job. The new is upon you. And when you are there, you need not worry for God will provide an overflow. In this season, there will be supernatural timing moving you towards the new. Just as Ruth had to take the wheat, to be threshed to separate the wheat from the chaff, the good from the bad, the usable from the unusable. Just as this season held you and gave you a platform to grow, just like the wheat, the part that makes food needed to be held up by the chaff, something that yields nothing. But it is so important in this process, one cannot grow without it. Don't fight the process. For in its time, it will be threshed and removed so that what remains will fill you. And just as Ruth obeyed Naomi when she said in 3.3, Ruth 3.3, Wash, put on perfume and get dressed in your best clothes. Then go down to the threshing floor, but don't let him know you are there. She continues to give Ruth instruction. So is God giving you instructions. If you don't hear him, pick up your Bible and seek the answer until he speaks to you. Or more importantly, until you hear him because he is speaking. You're just not understanding. You're just in a different page in the book that he's trying to lead you to. You are hearing something differently and you're thinking it's a good idea and it's not a God idea. And he's saying, I'm trying to lead you, I'm trying to lead you. If you don't hear me and you think you don't hear me, I'm speaking. I'm speaking in numbers, in dreams, in songs, in people, in nature. But if you can't pick up on any of that, go to your Bible. Go to your Bible and you will pick up on this. This, I promise you. It may not happen at first, but you just keep going and keep going until you get that aha moment. God is saying, seek me and I will prosper you. Seek me and my obedience and I will bring you into the new and with me as your focus, you will not fear this new and unknown. God is saying he has something for you. He needs you to be obedient, to listen, and to seek his face. Just like Ruth who married above her social status, so will you rise above where you are right now. So will you lift up and continue moving forward. You will proceed not by your own, but by he who sent you. Father, we pray for all those who this video comes across their ears, that they may prosper and come find you, so they may prosper and come to know you in the way that you delight in. Let them be obedient and listen to the words you have to say so that you may guide them, so that you may direct each step that they take to lead them to the purpose that you desire for them that you change their hearts and make their, your desires their desires so that all can live in a kingdom mind state here on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name we say amen. So stick with it, guys. Don't lose heart. Don't give up. Listen. Be obedient. And more importantly, God is bringing you something amazing. Your breakthrough is right there, right? Something supernatural is right on the other side. Keep moving towards it. I will see you guys back later.